LIGO India is a planned advanced gravitational wave observatory as part of the worldwide network of LIGO detectors. Currently, two detectors are there in the United States of America, LIGO Hanford and LIGO Livingston. And LIGO India will further strengthen the technology of detecting gravitational waves. It's a path-breaking experiment, right? I mean, for India to have. Um, I was with, I was at the time when we met with the Prime Minister. Yes, sir. Uh, he, during his visit to Washington DC and uh, that's when the MOU was signed between United States and India. LIGO India is envisioned as a collaboration project between Indian research institutes and the LIGO laboratory in the USA. Of the various sites surveyed for this project, the Hingoli district of Maharashtra has been selected as the primary site for the construction of LIGO India. LIGO India Observatory is scheduled to be operational in 2024 which will further open doors for Indian researchers and astronomy. So there are two interesting things. Astron from the astronomy point of view, it's very interesting because we have a detector which is close to the southern hemisphere. And that allows us to uh, locate the signal you know, much better than what the detectors if you just, I mean, it's, all, it's almost like mobile towers, right? If you keep them far apart, they can localize you better and uh, tell you yes. where you are on the, on the Google Maps kind of thing. Um, so that is one astronomy reason. So we can pinpoint exactly what galaxy it has come from, uh, the, the collisions. The second is, as you asked, right, I mean, for India, it opens a door because now there can be new set of PhD students. It's the same way, right? It, it, it works as a big motivator. I mean, when we Mangalyaan or Chandrayaan, you know, all these missions, um, it just inspires this millions of school children to pursue science, to think about universe, but more precisely to also take a pride that we as a country have are doing this kind of things, right? I mean, it it is really we're not all countries in the world, and we are still quite new uh, in terms yes, of you know scientific infrastructure and all. Our universities are not as old as you know other places having. But still, the fact that we pursue uh, this kind of cutting edge research, it's a lot of pride. And um, yeah, so, and it's a lot of pride for me as well, uh, just knowing that this is happening. Science has revolutionized humankind from surviving for very basic needs to answering the most complex questions of the cosmos. Scientists have played a pivotal role in building the human race, and we need to celebrate our scientists and their researches and also make them our role models. As Karan Jani said, Manushya ke vikas ko parekhne ka sirf ek mahabdand, vigyan. So, a society that respects science contributes to science. So, we must celebrate our scientists. You know, scientists in general have to be celebrated um, the way you celebrate other fields, right? If, uh, if you are no, I mean, it's kind of sad comparison, but playing IPL gives you, you know, a lot more um, you know, sort of fan following or, you know, know your, you know, in society's reaction than winning any prestigious scientific award, Shanti Swarup Patnagar Award or any, or Infosys Prize or any of the top prize. So one thing is you have to make scientists role models so that, you know, in, that's how the society knows that there is a credibility. No, it cannot be that scientists have less credibility than politician, film stars, and sports people. I mean, that, that simply cannot be a standard in any society. Mm -hmm.